fourth objective build the hub hey guys and Note, welcome back to a brand new episode of satisfactory i'm ac gamer and on tonight's episode we are going to be jumping into a brand new let's play for this one ensure the hub is built on spacious open terrain close to the presence of iron sources failure to do so will likely result in non-optimal progress so as you can hear we just started uh, we got a curcio we got uh, heat joining us and uh, they were burning through all the tutorial missions so i do apologize for a lot of gap in conversation there but uh, we're going to be starting on the desert mode and i have done a map over here with cypher before but we kind of wanted to check out the new map see if there was anything different and we also wanted something that was nice and open to give ourselves plenty of space to build you know a base of our dreams so that's what we're going to be doing and i do really really like the desert so let me go ahead and turn discord back on see so we can hear the other guys uh there we are all right so it does look like it started me a little bit away from you guys oh we bye what's that we, we we've been moving so you should be fine that's yeah, we'll look on towards you a little bit. Oh, there's copper here. Sweet. There's iron there. There's water source right over there, it looks like. There's iron over here. There's a water source for a little waterfall. Yeah. I'm making my way towards you. Oh, we can go over there, too. I'm just kind of looking around see what we got in this area. I'm looking for limestone. That's what I'm looking for. Get him. Kill it. I'm trying. This thing's just running in a circle. Nope, that's more. Dude, I can't get this freaking son of a bitch. Oh, I think I see them. Oh, we got sulfur here. Pure. Nice. Like a, a, lo a thing of it, or just a... Uh... It's just this pure next to it. Yeah, make sure it's not the center part, because that rock that you have to break down before you can put one down, that one's always pure. Yeah, this one doesn't have that on there. So I guess it's not an actual, like, mineable one. Yeah, I'm not seeing any limestone. But usually where they start you, you'll have limestone in the vicinity. So I said we set the hub up near... Near the water, I guess? I don't know. It's up to you guys. Ideally. Found a, a crash ship. Right, I see some resources over here. Let me check this. Oh. So that's iron. Got a normal iron node here. Normal there. Yeah, you got limestone. You got limestone? Yep. Over by the uh, water. And there's not a. There's an iron node not too far from that too. Well, I'm heading your way. There's a few of these little, I don't know what you call those things, armadillo-like things. On the way to you, I found a iron. That's, oh, damn, impure. That's it. Yeah, there's a few iron notes not far from here where the limestone is. Closest one's 139 away, it looks like. From the, the note that I'm sitting at right now. 
Oh, okay, okay, you're right there. Yeah, I'm standing on the limestone right now, so. MP or copper ore. And that's not far from where that copper is, too. There's four nodes of iron over here. Yeah, the, all the ones I'm finding are impure, though, which sucks, but... Well, I got some normal ones over here. All right, yeah, we'll the get ones that. that I saw were pure. All right, so we're going to set our thing down over here? Yeah. We could do the, the hub right here in the middle. Right here? Yeah, right here. Congratulations, you have unlocked hub feature manual craft bench. I got some iron, I'm gonna go ahead and try terminal. to make some little mini miners real quick. Objective. Complete hub upgrade one. Note, the craft bench and hub terminal are essential for progression to the next objective. Do I have any iron ore on me? Uh, I'll do these ten bars real quick. I was gonna say I have ore on me too. Uh, you can go ahead and start using that if you want while I do this. Because until we get more craft benches, we're kind of screwed. You yep. have unlocked building, workshop, equipment, portable miner, inventory, additional slots, hub features. What's up, guys? How you guys storage. doing today? Sixth objective: complete hub upgrade. To I'm doing all right, mate. Portable <laughs> miners require no <laughs> oh, power. Talking to the guys in the stream. Yeah, I know. No. Multiple portable uh, miners can be used on a single If we can get three hub. sheets and three rods, we can make a craft bench, and then two of us can start working on that. All right, or... I got the, I got the benches going. All right, uh, oh, there is iron all over the place out here. This is gonna be a good map for iron. This is insane. All right, there should be plenty of craft benches now. This one's impure though. Yeah, a lot of impure, but so many mines. I think once we get some. Uh, like uh, tier two or tier three miners on there, even in pure is gonna be okay. Do you have some any sheets on you, Incursia? Yeah, a couple, not a lot, but hold on. Here, here, hold, hold on, uh, cause I'm trying to make the uh, workshop or whatever. I got two on me. Oh. And then take those. See if that's enough to make that, cause then we need that to make that, those little mini miners. I'll put that on this other side here. Yeah. Nope, I don't have enough sheets. Damn. Hold on, I can make some. Okay, I wasn't sure if you had enough or not. Nope, still need more. Alright, I'm gonna go... Over this way. It's the closest one. I mean, they're both pretty close, but... Sorry, I found copper. I'm grabbing it real quick. Punk? Because it wasn't an actual bean, so... That looks like copper out there. Normal ore? That's cool. Yeah, no, iron's not gonna be an issue, dude. Yeah, no, I found, yeah, like you said, there's plenty around. This machine takes forever to read it. Get the copper ore. <clears throat> but you're right, everything out here is impure. Mm-hmm, I noticed, but there's so many of them, so it shouldn't really, like you were saying, it shouldn't be an issue. Ole! 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 Well, okay, this is up and running now. Sweet. Mm. Oh, I got myself a power slug. <laughs> Oh, what are you? 
I don't know what you are, but I'm gonna eat you too. And pure iron ore. You have it on windowed mode or full screen? Uh, well, I don't know if it's because of the game or because of this remote session I'm in. I'm gonna log out of the game real quick and come back in. See if it fixes it, because I haven't had that issue before. Oh my gosh, that critical firmware update was 10 times, making this machine 10 times faster. Got a normal iron ore over here. It's like the twelfth one we've seen. I don't think I've ever seen so much iron ore. Relaunching game. Ooh, that looked like a purple slug over there on that mountain. Purple's where it's at because you get, I think it's three for that one. Yeah, once you research it, you can get up to three. Yep, yep. Got more iron ore. I don't know what this stuff is over here. This looks a little weird. This might be cerulean, maybe. Sulfur. Mm, nice. Congratulations. You have unlocked hub feature, fire mask sulfur iron. scanner feature, copper, new buildings and recipes, which well, can not be full found in the menu but... and craft bench, respectively. Seven How big the game save files get? Upgrade yeah. screen. Note, connect buildings to a biomass burner for power. Note, buildings such as the smelter require a recipe to be set. Advice. Automate the smelting process and use portable miners for optimal results. I think I've ever looked to see what the size on there are for the save files, but I would imagine they get bigger and bigger as you have more and more stuff. Yeah, I'm and sure they do. Since it doesn't really matter what biome you start in because you have access to all the biomes in the game, like you can have some epically large maps in this. Right. Alright. Need some copper. I got copper here, I'm smelting them now. Right, I'm getting us some uh, foliage. Yeah, for like... Didn't need for the power. Yep. I think there was a slug over here. Is done for that. All right. I think it's exciting to sit here and try to like we're doing something like this with all three of us here to see how quickly we can get back up to where we were on the other map. Well, now that because uh, I mean for your your experience that that was the first time playing this game on the last one. Yeah. And then in Curcio that was like your second time around. So you have unlocked now that you guys know what you're doing, you'll probably be able to. Plan New out. Buildings and recipes, which can be found yep. in the build menu and All right, who's working on mines? I'm making portable miners here in a moment. Objective. Complete okay. hub upgrade four. Note: Use power poles to expand the. If you want, I can make them and then results. dump them into the chest, and then you can take them and place them where you want. Okay, I got one. I'm gonna go throw on the limestone for me to start getting that going. Get a normal iron mine out of here. So we got even more water nearby. Oh shit, it's one of those bugs. Freaking spider. Dude, I hate them things. Too soon to be fighting one of those, I don't have a better weapon. I 
All right, I'm out of my meeting. All right, welcome to the stream, man. You gonna jump in here with us? We just started a brand new map on the uh, the desert one, and it's a different desert than we started on. Uh, nah, I'm still working. Oh, okay. Excuses. Right. <laughs> well, at least he's out of his meeting. All right, I got the uh, which one call it down. What's that? The uh, all right, McCulloch. I made like five of the uh, portable miners. Oh, cool. It's not enough, man. It's not enough. Another <laughs> you know, limestone I have into concrete. Three, four fire slugs? <laughs> yeah, four. Oh, talk about having a booby trap right there. For those that are not familiar with that, that flower right there, as soon as you get next to it, it pops these flies out. And they're a pain in the ass to kill, especially with this little hand to hand weapon. Bug I don't think I'd be able to, yeah, I wouldn't be able to do it with this crappy thing. Zapper. And it's guarding a, a slug, and it's like right on the bottom. Like it'd be easy just to walk up there and grab it, but it's it's instant death. Especially with my life being as low as it is. Okay, I got two. I on can bury on me if you want it easy. Yeah, even if I was full life, it would it would be a sacrifice. Like I could run in there, grab it, run away, and then die, and then come back and loot it. But yeah, it's like I got four on me right now. We don't really need more than that at the moment. Plus, it's like right next to our base, so. Damn, I need a little more copper to be yeah. able to make enough of the wires. I got I got some copper while I was over there with them personal miners. And you got uh, limestone going already. Yep. Yep. So we'll get just one. We need another personal miner for that though. There's only one over there. Yeah, but I mean, as soon as we can get some concrete going, we we'll get to go. Copper wire is. Fire. So we need five more of those. Yep, we're good. All right, emptied the limestone of that. Going over to the iron node and see how much is out. Oh, I think the next tier we get uh, research, right? Access to be able to do research. I think so. Yeah. We'll find out here in a few. I got some iron that I'll smelt down into. 75 sheets. Yeah, I'm gonna build this uh, weapons lab and see what kind of weapon I can build. I need one more um, rod and then I can make another miner. Is that just a workshop? We have a workshop. Yeah, or... we have a workshop over here. You have a workshop? Yeah, yeah right here behind you. Oh, nice. Okay. I um, don't really have any weapons in there, though. No. In the, <laughs> okay, in, the, well, in, the, in, the in the chest, there's rods. I mean, you can make a zapper that you already have. Yeah, I mean, if I could put one in each hand, maybe, because it only gets like two zaps. Right. Actually, let me just store everything. I don't really need any of that on me. All right, off I go. I'm going to see if I can find some more green eggs and ham. How do you place these portable mini ones again? Uh, put them in your hand. Yep, and then you run up, and once it says you're allowed to drop it, you can drop it. Yeah, it's not letting me drop this thing. No, you gotta find the, the right spot for it. I mean, it just has to be flat. 
Yeah, I think that's the only flat spot here on this uh, limestone node. Oh, I think I got one. Alright, we got three little miners on the uh, on the limestone for now. Oh crap, there's a fire spitter not too far away from us. Yep, those are iron nodes over there. I will say it is abundant with rare resources as far as like little tiny. I'll be able to get up with that one without even having to build anything. Congratulations, you have unlocked building conveyor belts and poles. Inventory additional slots. Nine the new milestone, we need 50 wires, 75 rods, Note, and 20 Portable concrete. miners cannot be connected to conveyor belts. Advice. When planning the construction of buildings, note the placement of conveyor belts. Oh, check that. I got a nice view up here. Top of the world, Ma. Hell yeah. Now here's the question. If you got up here, would you have the balls or the stupidity, whichever one, to actually jump off of this thing in real is life? There, water underneath? Yeah, there is, but I mean, would you do it in real life? Because I wouldn't. Oh, in real life? No, no, no. I think I would kill you on impact. And I watched a video where they were talking about those cliff divers and uh, apparently water up their anus, which, you know, sounds horrible and disgusting at the same time, but uh, apparently that could kill you if you don't clinch when you hit the water. Cleans you right out. What are you talking about? It's called a fast enema, man. Get the job done. Yeah, I think it's a little too fast for your anus. <laughs> your sphincter. Nah, ain't it sounds better. <laughs> Just need the wire now and then that mode's done. Well get on it, dude, hurry up. I'm I'm spilling down the iron. Oh, well, I'll go grab copper. I found one of these little orbs. Yeah, I don't know what those do. They put them in a long, long time ago, and they don't do anything yet. They kept saying that eventually they'd be used as some sort of research. Because um, I, I found those orbs, and then I also find those like red rock things that talk to you when you get close. Yeah, same thing with those. Like they don't really have a purpose behind them yet. What the hell? Come on, man. Come on, guys. Get on it. <laughs> Maybe it teaches the way to how to increase the handcrafting. <laughs> so that'd be great, bro. It would be kind of cool. I mean, it's not really that big of a boon to you because you know at some point you're not really doing that much handcrafting anyways. But early stages could be really nice. Stone out here, some more water. That's five out of five still.
another iron ore. Almost a little bit too much iron ore. I know that I'm going to regret saying that here in a little bit when we're not getting very much from those poor quality ones and we're wishing we had better, but... Yeah, but if you have an abundance of those lower qualities, it's like having a higher quality. Which we do. I mean, that's like the 20th one I've looked at, and I, I've never even seen half that many. Congratulations. You have unlocked building miner mark one. Building storage container. Hub right, feature, we need for the additional miners? biomass burner. So we can make them. Tenth objective. Complete hub upgrade six. Note, there are no notes. Yeah, but we can't power them because we don't have a... We have to do this yeah, one we do. first. What? There's a generator on the back. Oh, yeah, that's right, that's right. Yeah, you get two of them, I think, on the back. Yeah, yeah I forget two about that. Not very powerful, but they're good enough to start with. It's enough to get those miners going. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, concrete is what we need. Yellow one? Yeah, yellow power slug. I would say that one's worth two, but we gotta sacrifice it. Oh shit. I'm working on the wire right now. Alright, concrete's done for this one. And I still have concrete left over to... We, yeah, we can start building platforms and stuff like that. Yeah. Around the miners and set that all up and get the smelting area set up. Yep. You okay if I upgrade these ones, the limestone, to an actual miner right now? I don't care, man. You do what you gotta do. That's what we're gonna need the most of, kind of. So we're gonna try to build everything on platforms this time. Well, kind of like what we did last time. But... Uh, ahead of the step, though. I'm actually doing it on concrete first. Oh, Jesus Christ, these spiders creeping me the F out. I love them. Uh, especially at night. Especially at night time. Yeah, it's, it's a little dark over here. Are you, I mean, you can hear them coming before you can even see them. And that's the part that gets me is the, the crawling noise, man. Do you have any just regular cable over there in Curcio? Um, so like black cable? That. Yeah. 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 So we can wire up that, uh... I'm in that chest. I think that should be enough. So it was, uh, three spiders I just took out. By hand, I might add. Short-ranged, and, uh, found a very, very nice sulfur mine. Pure. Nice. So I'm gonna mine me a little bit of this, because I think we need, like, 90 or 100 or something like that for research, so... Maybe we'll be able to make explosives a little easier. Yeah, yeah. I will say it's, right. it's really far away from where I'm at right now, so... There might be a node a little closer, but this one's pure. So, if you break down the hub, do you get the box and then you can re-put the hub back yeah. in? Yeah. Okay. I didn't know if you could do that anymore. I wish you could just get another hub, but I think you get the ability to put down a different outpost or something like that down the road? Maybe. I don't know. Alright, we got one on the iron node and one on the limestone. Cool. And the generators are just solely running those two right now to keep us going. It's a yellow one up there. Wire is done. So we need iron. So is personal miner still on the iron? No, the iron has its own 
own own thing. Yeah, but not not the personal miners. Those are in the chest right now. I took those off. But all right. And then that's just gonna solely do that. Well, I have a whole bunch of iron on me if you wanna. Oh yeah, yeah, that's what I'm. Cause I'm like, how are we gonna? I need iron to make sheet metal. Here, uh. Cause that's not gonna produce anything until you get a belt running out of it. It, it will store inside. Oh uh, yeah, that's right. Up to a hundred. Be able to get up there. Oh yeah. Finger jamming over here, man. Just put my finger on hold. Uh huh. Maybe I can tape it down while I go do something. <laughs> I mean, you could, yeah. Yeah, especially if you got a controller. Oh, I do not have a controller. I'm trying to see what I can put on top of it. I mean, depending on how your mouse is shaped, depends on how well that will work. Or you could just build a factory. Oh, Listen okay. to AC over here. I'm just saying, like, you, you can feed the stuff in manually into a factory, so you can keep changing what it does. Yeah, we just haven't got to that point yet. Uh, Richard's Rich, heat's working on it. Yeah, it's hey. all heat's fault. Right, right, we, right, 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 right. Sure, we'll go with that. I need to find that one. Makes me sound gay, but I need to find a hair scrunchie. <laughs> for your wife? <laughs> no, for me. <laughs> my hair is falling in my face. I gotta put it back. Pull it back. <clears throat> Plus, I want to put this hummus up in the fridge. Man, that, that combo right there just makes it even worse, huh? How oh, missing a hair scrunchie? <laughs> yeah. I'm not a freak. I'm kidding. I got my hair in a scrunch uh, ponytail, so I can't say anything. I don't know. When I, when I think of homeless, I think of uh, don't mess with the Zohan. Oh yeah. <laughs> when they're like, "What's totally. homeless?" and they're like, "Yeah, it's like diarrhea uh, consistency, <laughs> but it tastes good." I had this this chick I work with. She looked at it one day. I brought it for lunch. She's like, "What is that?" I'm like, "Baby vomit." She goes, "That's fucking gross." I'm like, "Try it." And then she tried it and she loved it. And then, like, the next day we came back to work. She goes, I went to Peter Jungle last night and got some. <laughs> yeah, it's good stuff. I love it, dude. The homemade stuff I make, because I grow my jalapenos in my garden. And um, I did have a cilantro plant growing, but it died, so. I had to go buy some cilantro, but. Cilantro I make it is so strong when it's fresh, man. It's good, but you got to be really careful with how you use it. Nah. Dump it in by the ton. I love cilantro. I love cilantro so some, too, but it's strong. Some people don't like it because I guess like it makes it taste like soap or something. It's just weird, man. I mean, to each their own. You gotta you gotta do what you gotta do, but yeah. soap. I mean, it's... I don't know. Some people say it tastes like soap to them when they eat it. It's weird. Okay. It's the same with uh, what's the other food that does that? So some people like it and some people don't because it tastes their taste buds don't interact with it correctly or something. Yeah, I mean, I can understand, like, not liking it, but for it to change the flavor that dramatically and, and for it to be that, like, specific of it tastes like so, uh, kind yeah. of blows my mind because it doesn't taste anything like that. <laughs> All right, I'm going to need more iron ore because I'm going to get these plates done oh, and then I'm going to do rods. I got a purple slug. Oh, man, dude. You are on it. He's just rolling in the deep over there. I know. He's like, well, you guys don't have it up and running yet, so I can start making my masterpiece. Do you have any copper wire, Incursio? Yeah, I do. Can I have some? Uh, you need cable or copper wire? Copper wire. Okay, hold on. So I can make poles. So we can dance on them. Ooh. Don't mind if I do. No, I just know we're going to need it so we can... Um... Uh, okay, so 
Yeah, we can get that iron order to start making sheets and rods. The miner has no power. Yeah, it's got power now. I gotta, I gotta stop, like, not looking where I go before I jump off a wall. <laughs> you get those parachutes, it'll be fun. Yeah, it's a pretty deep waterfall, is what I'm saying. Like, this, I was about to jump off, and I can't really see the bottom. I was thinking uh, we could start building platforms probably from, like, here, straight out, and then ramp them down, I guess. I don't know. We'll see. There's a power pull now by the uh, drill up by iron. <clears throat> so when we get start putting smelters and everything else down, there's a pull right there to tie off of to start off. Game, gaming mouse, you're too much of an angle. Right? Like, it'll stay for a second, then it falls off. Oh, how about this? My big old knife. Got another yellow power slug. Alright, I'll be right back. Concrete? I wasn't paying attention. Um, that we needed it? Yeah, but he said, like, to build it off of somewhere and something. Oh, I don't know. I've been running for my life over here. Coming to power slugs, you also come to enemies. <laughs> you just on a power slug, uh. Bonanza. Excursion. Yeah, excursion, that's for sure. Would you Bonanza. Would you say I have a plethora of power uh, slugs? I, would, I, would, I think so. area out so far there's been two power slugs I haven't been able to get a green one and a yellow one uh, both of them I could get but those freaking flies man I, I know some of you guys out there watching be like oh they're super easy to take out you, you could do it don't be a scaredy cat I die all the time trying to take those things out even with better weapons so I'm, I'm absolutely not doing it with this little tiny crappy little bug zapper. Wish I could. Got a uh, raw quartz node over here. Normal. That's not too bad. Nice. I'll go ahead and grab some. Wow. It's also right next to a uh, fire spitter. So that's, that's beautiful. And now he's chasing me. Right, did he disappear? Either I bugged out or he bugged out, but I guess I'll take it. Somebody bugged out somewhere. As long as I'm not gonna come back dead. Alright, I got my 100. Out. Oh shit. Oh shit! No, don't kill me! Don't kill me! I'm so. He hits me one more time. Serpico. Oh my god, dude. That was close. Holy crap. I had less than a sliver.
Jesus. That's a bit of a uh, sticky wicket. Alright, I think I am on my way back to you guys. I'm back in the desert again. Oh, dude, is this coal? Yeah, this is coal right here, and there's a second one. So yeah, we're not very far away from coal. Nice. Oh man, we're turning and burning over here now, easy. Whew. What are you trying to say? Those burritos aren't aren't going <laughs> well with you? Yeah, those burritos aren't going well. No, uh. I got a smelter going, or I got a constructor going for concrete, so concrete's being steadily made right now. And then I got a furnace, or I got the um, smelter going for iron already. Well, if I can get these things made into actual power-ups, we should be able to speed up all of those buildings to the max. You guys can see what it looks like when uh, the resources can't keep up. All right, I'm back. Welcome back. Welcome back, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. So I got like three purples and like seven yellows. <laughs> well, we're ready to overpower stuff when that comes time. Exactly. We just need to get to that research skill. And I see another purple and another yellow uh, within sight of our base, so... Dude, I forget when I when you go outside, I, like you walk on the concrete and it burns your feet. Cause they took the trash out real quick. Mm -hmm. Now my feet are on fire. So, Christian, yeah, I wasn't paying attention when you said what we're gonna do with the concrete slabs and how we wanted to do that. Oh, um, however, you know, like. So right now I'm just throwing stuff up so we can get stuff going. Congratulations, you have unlocked building space right. elevator, building biomass burner. Heart, biomass. Motivational message. Congratulations, you succeeded in every provided task. On behalf of Fixit Incorporated, I thank you for your current and future service. I love how she calls it uh, motivational motivation. message. The hub <laughs> terminal has been converted to give access to What do we need for the next one? There to ensure you progress I don't know, Fixit approved protocols. It won't, it won't show me any. Note. Future developments should be aimed at constructing the space elevator and, as such, initiating project assembly. It'd be cool if you could Good charge luck. this thing up. I only get one purple power. I gotta. I could have swore I got more than that. Did they not pick them up? I don't know. And only three yellows? Oh, dude, that's not right. All right, base building is the next one. So we need a hundred iron plates, a hundred rods, and two hundred. Down. You already got I got right? this up here making sheets. Cool. Cause I we need a lot of sheets anyways. Yep. It's gonna be a little bit. Yeah, it's fine. Concrete's already being made out there as well. Yeah, I just grabbed a bunch, but we need two hundred. Let's just take some time. Did you? I put seventy in there now. Oh, nice. Here. We need iron ore, but you have it making just sheets or rods? What do you have it making? Sheets up there right now. Okay. I need to. Uh... I mean, we can we can add more stuff to these generators. They're not capped out yet. I'm gonna go throw some personal. Uh, yeah. Why don't you um, upgrade them instead of doing that? Just do the other. I don't know how far away it is though. It's 170 miles this way, it says. For what? Iron. The next closest one, it says. Oh. One sixty six, one forty. Someone we're doing right now. Yeah, there's one right over this dude. Let's 
So what do we have being made already? Sheath and concrete. We need to do rods. Well, I think we get enough concrete and we start building platforms from up here. And then we can start putting that load coming out to do other stuff. All right, I'm gonna put a mine on this one over here. It's a normal iron ore, so. Oh yeah, I don't even think we need to store those spear things or whatever. Because if you look, it says work in progress underneath it. Score, uh, what'd you say? Those things we picked up, the spears and those red stones. Um, if you look at the description, it says work in progress. Duh. I mean, it's true, but, I mean, your game can be saved and moved uh, into yeah, the next patch, right, so... Right. Yeah, you're right. No reason to get rid of them. You see Ronan in that, uh, slug power over here, Jesus. Yeah, it's He's the, the purple one on me right now. He's the slug catcher. Well, there's only so many resources to go around early in the game, and, you know, kind of all vying for it so I figured I'd go out and give us a leg up on some of the other stuff. Right. I think I need 200 wire. I'll have to check again in a second. Trying to do the research so I can get my research table out. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Because we got so much research in there, and that way we can boost up some of those buildings and make them go a little faster. Yeah, yeah. Not to mention, I found all sorts of different stuff. Though, even found a resource called Sam, S A M. Mm-hmm. Remember finding it back in the day, but I don't think it had a purpose back then. So, kind of curious to see if it does now. Once we get that, we can go off and explore again, but yeah, a little tedious, guys. When you first start, you kind of have to make everything by hand. Kind of still do later down the road <laughs> as you get to uh, better and better resources. You always need to make that new resource several times over by hand, and then uh, eventually you can automate it. You still there, Nano? What's up? What are you playing, man? A little Overwatch? I'm watching YouTube. Oh, anything good? You know. Just live stuff. How about the uh, world?
Mm. Oreos. What are you going? Double stuffed or? Hold on. Have they started selling the uh, the Halloween one yet? The orange one? No, not that I know of. But like, I'm one of those weird ones that will eat uh, the thins. I like the Oreo thins. So you actually like the uh... cookie part? Yeah. Okay. And then, um, but I like the Oreo thin dark chocolate. Delicious. We got any uh, copper wire going yet? Um, I don't know. Uh, I don't know if Richard got that going or not. I know I haven't. We have any copper going? Uh, we have personal miners over there. Where's it at compared to our base? Right over. Right over to the right. Right here. If you follow me. Oh, okay. If I had more sheets, I could put a miner on here. How many you need? Like eight. I got four. <laughs> Man, you dropped them right in the right spot. Why you can't pick them up? No. <laughs> well, at least it's only four then. It's hilarious. If I finish these before you guys do, I may have to switch it to the other one. Put all my stuff in and then switch it back. Because you don't lose anything, I, I believe, when you do that. No, I don't think it. so. It's about another 144. Get to my 300. Give me exactly 300 if I figured out the math right. Can you imagine if it's this easy one day, you know, with the 3D printers being what they are. Just kind of feed in the raw resource that you need and it prints out whatever you want. I mean, kind of how it is, right? Almost? Almost, I yeah. I mean, I, th I think it has a little ways to go, but definitely getting close to it. machine, referred to as the MAM, will allow R&D to provide new technologies, items, and buildings based on samples collected in the field. To ensure a greater chance of success during exploration, an upgraded tool belt has been provided, as well as an object scanner and There's vehicles. two plates in this uh, chest here, you see. Note, the object scanner requires calibration via the MAM to enable detection of specific objects. So now I need to make the stuff I can actually use to make the mound, but it's definitely a lot less. What'd you say you put in there? Plates? There's two uh, reinforced plates in the personal chest here. Oh, okay, sweet. Thank you. 
which is part of what you need. You only need three more than five wire and then 45 copper, which is already in here. Yeah, there's 47. Yeah, 47 of the copper? Wire. No, there's 47 of the wire, and oh, then okay. you need the cable, so you'll still need a little bit more copper to make it all. Alright, I have copper wire getting made over here in a minute. Five fifteen forty-five. Hopefully this doesn't blow it. Cool. Alright. Oh. Wires being made up there. We got iron being. Oh, motherfucker. <laughs> He's using too much power. Yeah. Oh, out of fuel. Oh, there should, there should be some fuel in there. Can we make the biomass stuff yet? Okay, we'll put this thing down. Hundred rods and start doing the base building stuff. Hey Nick, how you doing, man? Yeah, it's been uh, a little bit since I streamed. Due to the fact that work's been so hectic, but thankfully, uh, I'm trying to slow things down a little bit the last few days, so I'll try to stream a little bit more this week for sure. New recipe unlocked. New research available in the MAM. <sighs> How you guys been with everything going on? New resource added to the resource scanner. Now make silica. A little bit of quartz crystal. Crystal oscillators. Uh, you know, anything we can get our hands on right now. I went out why these guys were kind of setting the base up on this new map that we just started and picked up as many different resources that I could get my, uh, my grubby hands on. So, ah, uh, yeah, look at that. Sulfur. Now we're doing, uh, black powder. Maybe a little bit of dynamite. I'm hoping. What does that cost? Cost uh, 50 black powder, which is coal and sulfur. Uh, let's, let me let me get something going over here that's gonna take like two or three minutes for it. We're gonna go make some. Find something to make some better weapons. Jeez. I mean, a lot of these are taking like three seconds to do. Ah, here we go. Rebar gun. Uh, we can't really make it yet. You need some rotors. Expanded tool belt. Object scanner improvement. No, can't really do any of those. Uh, 
Don't really need a paint gun yet. You gotta turn over the rods. New object added to the object scanner. Now the the train I believe was in last time we were playing, but I never built one. Did you get one going? Uh... I unlocked it last night. But yeah, just haven't. It. No, I haven't done any. No, actually, I haven't unlocked it yet. That's what I was working on too yesterday. But though, I would really, really uh, consider doing one over trying to get the pipe system working. I, I don't know how many of you guys have played this game, but. I don't know, dude. I can't figure out the liquid physics in this one. I seem to have a lot of issues with it just not giving me the the flow that I need, especially the longer distance it goes, or when you try to add more than one source, whether it's water or whether it's oil. shards out of the way and it looks like we can make 20 black powder I think we needed 50 so not gonna be enough but I know where that resource is we could always go back and get a little bit more I'm actually kind of wanting to get those explosives do it man You can use that for alternative recipes, but I don't think it's used for anything else, right? Not that I know of. Hopefully I don't overload the system. Alright. So we have wire being made, concrete being made, um, rods, and I have another thing set up to start making sheets. Damn it. Too much power. Oh, wait. You have overload slugs, don't you? I do. Seven of them. Throw, throw one in each of these stupid generators right now. Make that six, since I had to use. Oh, one. we have to research it first, don't we? I already did the uh, the green ones. I still have the uh, the yellow ones. Oh, you know what? Oh. These don't have. Space. No, they should. That's no. just we're not. They don't. They don't actually have a uh, socket because they're not really like a standalone unit. We gotta, I think, don't we have to, like, get the overclock thing done in the tier? Do you? Yeah, I'm pretty sure you do. Let me look. What do we need for overclock? That's what I'm looking for. 50 iron rods, 50 plates, and 50 wire. Well, we should be able to do that. Yeah. In fact, I think you already have that stuff being automated. Well, I was, and then power shut off, so... Let me uh, disconnect this stuff up here. Well, there's 50 uh, iron rods. There we go. Everything should be back up and running. You have plates being made somewhere? I did, but it's not enough juice. Well, 15 plates, 15 rods, and 25 uh, wire, you can make another uh, biomass burner. Ooh, that's true. Which we're going to need anyway, so might as well make it. Yeah, I'll make some. Sh I have enough to do it besides the sheets, and I can make some of those real quick. And we still have copper. Oh, yeah, copper yeah. being made. Oh, dude, yeah, 196 over here. So all I need is sheets. And you said you did have that, but it's not being made anymore. Yeah, no, but I'm about to drop a uh, generator down. And uh, I'll connect it in series, and we should be good to go. I need wire. Son of a bitch. 
Need a copper wire? Yeah. Here. Oh, there. Put it in the crate. Yep, yep. Cool. All right. You're gonna need to put another power rod down. That's fine. Or we can disconnect. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you want another one because we want these all daily together. Yep. Uh, KB, do I still play P99? I do from time to time. We've been kind of taking a break from it because a lot of the guys, including myself, kind of hit that um, burnout wall on it. Happens from time to time. You just, you know, you stop playing for a little bit. Sometimes it's a few days, sometimes it's a few months. Uh, I've actually had it in the past where it's been several years. In between play time, <coughs> sorry guys, between play time, but um, I don't think it's going to be that long, especially since I signed up for a uh, marathon stream with the Guinness Book of World Records to do, you know, charity stream in August. Uh, it's been a little bit since I've heard back from them, and, you know, they said it was all set up and we're ready to go, and then I asked them a few more details and I haven't heard, sorry, so... Kind of curious of whether oh. maybe they're getting hit with that corona thing or what, but uh, yeah, we'll be doing like a 40 to 50 hour stream. We're trying to go for 50, but may not make it. I know we'll make at least 30. We've done it before in the past several times on our, our streams. I, I just thought it would be kind of neat because, you know. There's not very many uh, records set for it. And... All right, we are doing overclocking now. It's going to take about five minutes for that one to get done. No worries. I think we're good now. I got the sheets make, getting made. I just need more to do a belt. I'm just curious, love listening to your videos as background noise. Yeah, I, again, I've been working like 14 hour days, but I have like three years worth of videos on my YouTube page that I just have not labeled. Like they're already uploaded, they're just sitting there. So I will go on there later tonight and. Uh, no, we will. Yeah, we'll. Now, if you get what? <laughs> Back if you guys bear with me for a second, I'll go do it right now. You guys will get an EverQuest video today. Oh, huh. oh, what's up, Bashida? No, no, no. still on for tomorrow? It sure is. In fact, if you guys are watching right now, guys, remember D and D every other Tuesday. I gotta figure out what video for a quest. Okay, sheets are being made, rods are being made, every all the basics are being made at this point. I always got to go back like 40-something pages in my private videos just to find like the last one that I did, so they're like somewhat in order. If you guys have watched my Let's Plays, you guys know that they're all over the place. Like they, they bounce around, you'll sometimes see a video with me at like level 56 and then a few months later you're seeing me at like level 54 it's it's horrible he just got himself dead that's all it was lost a couple levels uh you know i actually wouldn't mind that because i do like that uh that grind when it comes to everquest but nah it's more of me just being super lazy and not living up to uh, what I should be doing. Ah, here we go. We got a nine hour stream. We'll be playing the Zorns with Horns.
the thing about doing the uh, the labeling, YouTube has gotten more and more stringent as of late, so it's not like it was before where I can just kind of post the video and be done with it. I have to go through a super long questionnaire on what the video contains and what it doesn't contain. And, uh, it's just like I said, it's kind of more of a pain in the butt than it used to be. Almost doesn't seem like it's worth it anymore. It's not, it's not worth it. Like, yeah, I've been talking about this for a long time. I'm lazy, dude. I'm just lazy. Get home from work, okay. just kind of want to chill, sit back, play some games with my friends, and sometimes that uh, that works out. I can throw a video up. Sometimes it doesn't. Are the questionnaires the exact same questions over and over? They are the exact same questions over again, but uh, they kind of change the order up a little bit. So if you're trying to like do it from muscle memory, it's not necessarily going to work. Uh, it's going to stop them from bobbing it. That's why I, well, one of the reasons. Mainly it was that, um, what do they call that? Milestone the reached. Thing? You have unlocked several <laughs> structures. <laughs> Aim to you know provide what? the first needed to build it. basic factory infrastructure and improved overview. Yeah, I mean, it really comes down to, there's been so many changes with YouTube, you get scared when they do something new because they're so, there's, there's not a, there's a really big lack of communication. Alright. I've been seeing some videos a few months back where it doesn't matter if you copyrighted something or not. Uh, if they come in and say that you don't have the rights to it, boom, you lose whatever it is. Yeah, it's not really that true. We had somebody come on there and said that they copyrighted, uh, gave him a strike against his the guy's voice. It was the dude's voice who uh, made the, the, the video. Yeah. But somebody else yeah. said that uh, we're going to strike that. There we go. All right, so that's going to come out in 16 minutes. Get it for 6 o'clock. Analysis complete, so we now have overclock production, which is fantastic. Fungus like vegetation. Hmm. So let's see. For yellow power slugs, which we have, I need 25 reinforced plates and 100 rubber wires, cables. So if we start building out this way, maybe? Well, Kersey, what I was thinking is we should do a probably from like maybe here-ish or something like that. Just do a level going out over to the water a little bit. So that when we do our generators this time, the coal ones, it's not too big of a height going over. So like, right about no, here? No, I'd, I'd go up a little bit higher. Like right about here? Probably where I'm at. And just level it out. Well, then that could just be a top floor above us there. Well, before you go any further, you might want to... I don't know, does, does it matter? Do you get OCD when it doesn't level or go with the other one? Like, if you put the block underneath this one right here, you can count it down, and then it, you can snap it to it. See what I'm saying? For the top floor. Just put it underneath it and go down like a pillar. Oh, I know it. Oops. Well, that works too, but... It doesn't bother me so much, but I know some of you guys out there get a little bit of... You want everything to line up. Gotcha. Oh, I see what you're talking about. Especially okay. if you try to build stairs later down the road or ramps. Like, they're just not gonna... Not gonna fit right. One of those people. Are you one of those people? I am. Yeah. 100%. There, so something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Okay. 
actually, while that's going on, I'm gonna put this stuff in the crate. I'm gonna run over there see if I can get that slug. Gun slug or garden slug? Uh, it's kind of like a garden slug, except uh, massive in size. Do we have chainsaws yet? Uh, I don't think anybody's made one yet. I don't know if we got the ability to. No, make we don't it, have but... it unlocked yet. Which one's the chainsaw? Tier two obstacle clearing. How much do you need for that? Five hundred screws, hundred cable, hundred concrete. I'm gonna work on that. I'll work on the obstacle clearing one real quick. I get a bunch of my phone. Let's see when my wife's ready to come home. Go fetch her? I got rid of her. Wait, your wife? Yeah, I took her somewhere and dropped her off and left her there. Get out, woman! Get out of my car! So, I'll probably have to go pick her up here in about an hour or so. Oh, those bugs are still floating around my body. Get them. Get them. We might bring them back to the base. Bring them back to the base. We'll all fight them. I ain't screwed. There they come. Are they coming? No, I'm coming. Are they following me? I think he's following me. Where they at? Where they at? Where you at? Where you at? Oh, you're right there. It's just one. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, he's following you. I got it. I got it. Get over here, dude. Oh, he ran. He disappeared. He disappeared or did he go back? He, I, he disappeared off my screen. I don't know. I mean, it'd be nice if they were gone. We'd be able to get that back. Nope, they're still floating around. I don't think they disappeared. Hmm. And they have my weapon. All right, here. Okay, where are you at? Right over there, in front of the other uh, green power slug that I was trying to get. Oh, I see. I see. I'm, I'm, I'm heading that way right now. You got full life. Yeah, it's close enough. It's good. Yeah, these guys, like, are, these guys are tough, man. I like fighting these stupid things. With that little pea shooting? Yep. Yeah, look at that, look at that. Mm, well, I can go in at least and give you some cover. That way they're at least attacking me. What you gotta do is you gotta go in for the two jabs and then back out. And then go for two jabs back out. Got one. Whoa. Got two. Just last one. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> look at that in midair, dude. Holy Got crap. It. Nicely done. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. And I feel like a wuss being scared of those things. You kick their asses. I've died so many times to them <laughs> in yeah, my game. <laughs> I'm like running. I'm like they have to like. They never stop. No, they no, don't. No, no, like when well that one they did when I was trying to pull it back. But when you don't want that to happen, they yeah. just keep on coming. Ridiculous. All right. So what does I need for that power slug? I think it was. Okay. So I need wire. Yep, I was working on copper. So well, you got Slack streaming some P99, it looks like. Yeah, he's over there playing his uh, Druid, actually, on P99. Oh. Green at that. I saw Superman Bits of Bob came back. 
to green. But after watching his last two videos, and maybe some of you guys out there might disagree, but it sounded like he was kind of suffering from the same thing, a little bit of burnout. He didn't sound like he was too enthused about it, and that's kind of where I didn't want to go. I didn't want to force myself to do it to the point where it wasn't going to be fun. Right. It's kind of like what I did with Wow. I think I burnt myself out. We have a tendency to do. I think that's kind of within our nature, though. You know, it's just like the type of players that we are. You know, we go hardcore into something and then just be like, "Oh, dude, I think we went a little bit too much." Saws are going to be unlocked. 25, 25. Milestone reached. Biofuel will ensure maximum efficiency of biomass burners. To aid in biofuel production, you are now capable of removing foliage that consists primarily of wood. Additionally, R&D inflated your pocket dimension. Now, this is something I kind of always wondered, and maybe you've paid more attention to it than I have. Now, when I get rid of a tree, it's usually because it's in the middle of where I want to put a base down or something. Mm -hmm. So, those don't grow back that I know for sure because I, I put a block down. I'm pretty sure that stops it from growing back. But have you noticed if you go through a forest and, like, chop, chop all the trees down, come back in, like, you know, 10, 15 hours, whatever the case may be, have they grown I back? Haven't. No, I don't notice that. I wonder if it's just a resource you have limited of until you can get other resources, you know? Yeah, I mean, when you start in the tropical area, you get a crap ton of them, right? There's, right. There's so many that you don't really need to pay attention to it. But out here, not a whole lot, dude. I mean, it's, it's a desert, so... Around, yeah, we got luck. Well, I mean, around the water, you're, you're going to find some. But further out away from this, like, little oasis that we get, you know, <laughs> you're not going to see any of that. Right. Yeah, I should pay closer attention to see if that's a thing, because if it is, you know, just maybe not build on top of, like, the five or six trees you have access to. But even if that's the case, dude, it would have to come back super quick for it to even be, like, remotely a viable solution, because you go through power so quickly in this game. Right. I'm not too far away from coal, though. No, yeah, if coal's just right down the, the thing, and there's two of them over there. Oh, we got coal right next. Oh, coal, yeah. Do we have oil near us? <laughs> I didn't see any. But it doesn't necessarily mean it's not there. I noticed with these uh, miners we got going, the Impuri takes forever to make things. Like it doesn't get enough ore or something? I don't know. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that was just me or what. No, no, it's a thing. All right, so for purple ones, we need uh, 25 frames and 200 cable. I need biofuel for the chainsaw. I got to go get some of these. Yeah, those generators are starting to get low on fuel. Yeah, once we cut down some trees and get some wood going, we can make some. Do we have what we need to make a uh, chainsaw? Yep, I just made one. I'm just running around grabbing leaves. I can make a bunch of biomass.
I'm gonna go get some more coal and a little bit more sulfur. And then we're gonna research some dynamite, motherfuckers. Where are you? I don't know what we're gonna blow up with it, but we're gonna blow something. You gotta find those rocks that are all like crackled looking, I think. Yeah, I mean I know I know that there's ones out there. I'm just saying like I haven't found any of those. But we're still blowing something up. I'm sure there's some around that oasis, maybe. Even if it's just uh you know, heat. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Got something you wanna stick in your pocket? Oh, I mean get my own dynamite in my pocket, you know what I mean? I know, what's that mean? I mean I'm not there, so in courtesy we'll have to take a peek. Yeah. <laughs> Bend over. Oh, it's the cipher of the deck. Uh, so quiet, cipher one on the stream, man. Uh huh. You just got up. Uh huh. Yeah, but he always just got up. Exactly. <laughs> he had an appointment uh -huh. and stuff. He said. Actually, there's four coal mines nearby. Nice. So we'll have power, no problem, then. No, we'll have coal, no problem. I don't know if we'll have water issues again like we did before. Nah, I think I think I know the water thing. I think I can. You're starting over? Yep. You should come join us. No. Yeah, they were uh, kind of, you know, new to the game when they first got in. Uh, the Curcio, for sure. And Curcio knows probably more than I do. Yeah, but... yeah, I was playing until 3 in the morning last night. His base is really impressive. See if it's still doing the update or not. You just gotta. Yeah, I bet you. So there's no way I should have won that fight. I, I cheesed it a little bit. Creatures got stuck on a rock, and I ended up taking advantage of the situation. But you exploited a bug. No, no, I just exploited the fact that the creatures are stupid. That's right. You know, like it's survival of the fittest, and my guy happens to be a little smarter than the average here. Great, now we're all gonna get banned because of AC. I don't even know if you can get banned. I doubt it, because it's not really multiplayer. You're not ruining somebody else's experience. You're ruining my experience. Yeah, your immersion. <laughs> can somebody uh, look at, if you're near a uh, crafting bench, can you tell me what the recipe is for dynamite? I know it's coal and sulfur, but how much of each? Um. Uh oh, I gotta let my dog out. I'll be right back. Cause I only need like 25 more. I don't see a recipe for dynamite. Should be further down the list. I only see black powder and that's it. <clears throat> oh yeah, black powder, sir. Black powder is one coal and two sulfur. Okay, so I actually need more sulfur than coal. So how goes your uh, Hans gameplay, Cypher? He's muted. Milestone well, I mean, reached. We can't Conveyor belts hear him now merge, hear split, and lift to increase the complexity no, and efficiency of your factory. <laughs> we encourage you to consider more verticality I when it comes to factory logistics, streamlined short-range transportation. 
productivity display will help you measure and improve Can you the hear me now? of individual mm -hmm. buildings to aid with yeah, optimization. I, I, that was only one certain thing. What phone carrier you got? What? <laughs> I got it, DC, I got it. Vision. Vision. Vision? I don't, I don't think that guy's worked for that one yet. He's worked for all of them at some point, I think, right? Just about, yeah. The only thing I had, don't have on my game, uh, like my personal game, is uh, Quartz Mine yet. I don't have one of those up and running yet. You haven't found it, or you just didn't need it yet? I found it, but it's like super hard to get to, and I died like two times. Because I don't have a, I didn't have a gas mask unlocked yet. Mm. But I unlocked it last night, so I'm gonna try again tonight. Quartz wasn't in the last time me and Cypher played, and I'm not 100% sure like what you're gonna need it to build. Um, it builds um. Glass tubes, probably. Um. Glass God, tubes. What was it? Is it those like tunnel things that suck no. you across the world? No, 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 nope. no. We built those, and we didn't need quartz unless they changed the nope. recipe. No, it's those are steel pipes. You need it for research, for something in the research table, and then it unlocks a recipe you use quartz for. I think it's like, um, <clears throat> where is the research bench? I'll tell you. I mean, I've unlocked two things when it came to quartz already. Mm-hmm. Oh, you, you use it to do, like, circuit boards, smart connectors, mm -hmm. um, like all the electronic components. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. So I needed sulfur and I came to quartz. Uh, where was the sulfur thing? Oh, I remember where sulfur was. Wrong direction completely. Alright, um... But not a waste of time, because I did get two yellow slugs and a green one while I was out here. No. Oh, dude, why they were setting up the base, I went off to, you know, because you only have so many resources to start with, so I went off to kind of look around and see what was what. And I got so many of those uh, slugs. Yeah. This desert <clears throat> biome, it has really crappy resources. It has, like, 20-something iron nodes, but they're all, like, normal or less than. So, not super fantastic in that regard. Did you put stuff in there? Were you putting stuff in here? I already uh, put stuff in there. Okay. And the generators and stuff, so they're good for a little while. Okay, I'll put some more. <coughs> I'm waiting for the damn thing to come down so I can load some stuff onto it. Gotcha. Alright, Sulfur, where are you at? Do we got a decent amount of plant material over there? We're gonna need more. Plant material for... Power? Um, yeah, just bring whatever you can. Gotten a little turned around. <laughs> it's so dense out here with this vegetation, it's hard to kind of see. Oh. I, get my dogs in. I'll be right back. I don't know if I went that direction last time. I don't think I did. <clears throat> I 
still got that call from him. Dude, it's so freaking bad and annoying. <laughs> and the weather's been so weird over here. It's messing with my sinuses again. So I've been seeing, I've seen a lot of videos lately about Florida. Mm -hmm. You know, Florida man does this, Florida man does that. Oh yeah. Yeah, I didn't realize it was such a like a, a big meme online, but dude, it's massive. They they had one that had me cracking up. It was a uh, Florida man tried to get a uh, alligator drunk. Authorities arrested him after they uh, found him trying to feed the uh, or give the alligator beer by using his arm as bait to get him to open. Wow. <laughs> that makes sense, though. I, I mean, if that makes sense, then uh, you're, you're in the right state. That didn't make any sense to me, but no, no. I mean, that that makes uh, that makes sense to to the Florida man. So What's he doing? Just th throwing beers at the guy or something? No, no. He's like cracking them open and trying to like get the the alligator to see. Now, are they alligators or they crocodiles? I think he said alligator in the thing, but I don't think most people know the difference between the two. Uh, it's probably alligators. Alligators. It's alligators here. Yeah, alligators are more common. We ain't, we ain't from the bayou. Um, the bayou has crocs. So well, we are kind of from the bayou, aren't we? We have alligators. <laughs> yeah, though. I think you got, uh, you got a little bit of bayou down It's there. Australia. Australia has the crocodiles. Uh, America has crocodiles too. It's just in certain parts of America. There's, is there like the um, most deadly crocodile, the saltwater crocodile? You mean the uh, one from Lake Placid? No. I, I, they're just called saltwater, and they, I think they uh, they stay between uh, the ocean and the river, so they can. I mean, it's yep, and they. Yeah, there's crocodiles first. Fresh salt water crocodiles, whatever you call them. Yeah. Boxite. Yep, I got some of that earlier too. I forget, I don't know what it's for, but it's for something. Bacon. Ooh, yeah. Combined uh, those mushrooms. With um, the nuts and berries, and you can get yourself a really nice med kit. Yep. Yeah. Of course, the only way to really get the <coughs> fungi or mushrooms or whatever the, the crap they are is to use your chainsaw. I know I have sulfur out here somewhere. We made a point of like saying it earlier that it wasn't that far away from the base. for the life of me. I mean, push this cough and go away. Yeah, you've had that thing for several months now. I don't think it's going away on its own. I think that's something you're going to have to see a doctor about. Oh, it's a sinus cough. Smoker's cough is what you call it. Yes, smoker. <laughs> yeah, right. Here's a guy I hang out with that has a smoker's cough. Yeah, but he's, what, a heavy... Heavy, heavy smoker, right? Not really, but like it acts up. Or he's like, it acts up. Like, I'll be there for like two or three months and then I'll go away and then I'll come back. Especially when the sinus, like, you know, how Cypher's cough because of sinuses. Yeah. I know my sinuses bug the shit out of me usually. <clears throat> Man. 
<laughs> Dantha wants to know what's the difference between a bayou, a swamp, and a bog. Bog to me is something that doesn't really have moving water. There's a lot of uh, vegetation yeah. in it, almost to the point where it looks like it's land, but the moment you step in it, you find out different. Uh, the bayou is um, usually not. Uh, it's kind of uh, coming from a, uh, a salt uh, salt water into regular. Um, Thing. I'm not, I can't even think no. Bayou, uh, bayous that I've been in, they all have a very distinctive smell, whereas a swamp doesn't yeah. really smell that different. It's just kind of plant material is what you smell. Yep. But a bayou. Maybe so are the elves are dead underneath the ground in the water? <laughs> that's that's where you smell the, the, the werewolves, right? I'm sure we're not even close to the actual <laughs> definition of what the uh, swamp bayous and all the other ones are, but... Oh, dude, I have no idea where this fucking sulfur was. It's infuriating. Oh my gosh, I see you lost the sulfur? You did, and I can't do a search for you, can I? Nope. <coughs> Bruh. Oh yeah, I can. Mother humper. Oh yeah. yeah. That's bad, um... That's bad. So the bad. one place that I was almost absolutely positive that it wasn't at... Is that? Is, is where it's at, yeah. So we're halfway across the other side of the map that you went to? No, I mean, it's not halfway across, but definitely a good little distance away. Heard a baby. Oh shit. Oh shit. I'm gonna die, son of a... Is that gas, dude. The gas got me. Yeah, that shit sucks. Like, even when you're out of it, it still starts hurting you. That sucks, dude, because I was... I was so far away. When can we research that? Uh, it's like tier 5 and 6. What, the suits? The Jesus. gas mail. Yeah. So far away. Yep. Well, and I mean, the main reason they don't want you to have those things uh, that early is because they put a lot of, like, purple slugs in the vicinity yeah. of those things. So, my thing is, though, it drives me insane. You get all these hand slots unlocked, but you only get one body slot. <clears throat> and, like, you get the legs that make you run faster, you can wear a parachute, you get a gas mask. Those are all different yeah, parts yeah, of the body. Uh, Moment, does the jets automatically or do you get automatic jets now? No, it's you have to research a jet pack. Man, they don't give the game to you like that. Come on. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, then there's the other thing. Yeah, you know, you could just play with us, it'd be fun. You I, know? I think there was a way Bro. to open up body slots, though, right? No, there's one body slot that I've unlocked so far in my game, unless you have to research it or something. Yeah, but... I think you do have to research it, but even if, if it doesn't, that's probably mainly for the fact that you can't. Maybe the It'd programming cool. has a hard time, like, interacting with multiples of those. It'd be cool if they would, though, if you had, like, a face play, a leg play, you know. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's getting more into the whole RPG kind of genre. We'll have our platform made for the generators once those start getting done. And then we can work on top making smelters and smelters and all that. Got uh, rhinos, armadillos, whatever they are, on one side, and plant matter on the other side. Grabbing 
dining grab or whatever. Well, no, my, my body's further away. I just have to go between a rock and a hard place, really. Oh, so <laughs> Oh, dude. Did you really get your body back? But yeah, it's because there's two small. Oh, actually, they're like medium sized one, and then there's one large one. <sighs> Such a long way back, too. Damn it. Do you want my zapper thing? No, because I wouldn't be able to kill them. There's, there's too many. I could try coming around from the other side. <coughs> unless, you don't say. unless Cypher was in here, then he could cough him to death. <laughs> Actually, I'm gonna get off of here for a little bit and lay back down. Cool, brother. Yeah, man, right, we'll feel night. better, dude. <laughs> All right, I'll talk to you guys later. 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 Cyber. Yeah, my my uh, younger brother actually goes through that quite a bit with his allergies, but his is sneezing, and he'll sneeze 10, 15, 20, 30, actually like non-stop for 10 minutes, I think is the longest I've ever seen him sneeze for. I don't know how he does it, man. Like at the end of it, he's like holding his chest and gasping for air, but... So thankful I don't got allergies. I don't have allergies. I get sinuses, but it's not as bad as that. Like milestone reached. More complex assembly of parts can now be automated. Project assembly parts can now be constructed and sent up via the space elevator. Note: Project parts are too complex to produce by hand. Oh, come on. You gotta be. Are you kidding me, man? Are you kidding me? What am I stuck on? There's nothing here. <laughs> What's the duck button? C. Well, there C we on go. I think. Do we want the jump pad with the jelly lady pad, or do we want to do logistics MK2? MK2 would probably benefit us right now. Oh, that's a lot. Get, yep. get some MK ultras in there. Um. I think I'm gonna leave the first platform like this. I think that'll be fine, and then I'll maybe put one more block out, because I don't know how... Yeah, I'd do one more block out this way if that's what you're talking about towards the water. Which one? On this top yeah. one? I'm... Yeah. And that should leave room for the chimney and stuff on those. Yeah, underneath that. Yeah, okay. Research showing allergies actually have a lot to do with gut problems. Gut or gut? Like with the gut? Yeah, with the gut. Yeah, <laughs> like sometimes you got to go with the lower gut. Sometimes it's the upper gut. GI system. Get you every time, man.
jump into I'm not gonna make it not gonna this is a bad idea <laughs> <laughs> yes he's dead <laughs> oh man the water looked a little closer when when I was up there did you get your body back and no, then die again? No, no, no. I got, I got three bodies out there now. What was that name of the movie with the guy uh, it had the rock in it? And the... Uh, the guy from The Happening. Are you talking about the rundown? They were, they, no. were, they were playing cops and they like jump off of the top of the building thinking they could make it. Um, and they die. And then I think it's the other guys. Yeah, I think the other... That's the one with Will Ferrell and... Uh, yeah, but at the beginning, it had, like, The Rock and... I think and, so. Uh, is it Marky Mark? Yeah, it could be Marky Mark. <laughs> he was AC Gamer. The water looked a little closer. See now, if this was VR, I would I would have got it. I would have been able to tell the difference. Depth perception in that one is uh, so much nicer. I could have blamed it on bad visuals. Even though this game is absolutely beautiful. Sure is. years from fully integrating himself into the yard. I mean, you know, it'd be cool Man, to... you imagine this game in VR? Imagine any game in VR. It's one thing I still, I still catch myself doing from time to time. Like, not a lot, but on games that are really stressful or where it's just, like, super important to not go a certain way, I still catch myself kind of, like, tilting my head to look around a corner. Even though I'm looking at a monitor and that doesn't work. Hell yeah. And VR though it does. Which is the, the beautiful part of that one. <laughs> Been doing that since Wolf Wolfenstein 3D. Wolfenstein, amazing game back in the day. I haven't played one for a very, very long time, but oh shit, I'm gonna die. Probably knowing you. Where is it? Oh, it's a plant up there on the top. Alright, we need to speed up some of this progression over here. Alright, got my body finally. Now to find the sulfur that I originally came out here for.
Man, when I left home, I just packed a lunch. I thought it was going to be really quick to get over here. And no change of underwear <laughs> or anything. <laughs> yeah, I'll be right back. Been out here for like six years. And there's the sulfur, finally. How close to my body was it? Because I died over here somewhere. I could see the crate. I don't know, it doesn't give me a distance. Well, we're gonna get the sulfur before we move on, because we need like... a hundred and something? But thankfully, I've already killed the spiders that were guarding this thing, so I don't have to worry about that this time around. But I believe they do respawn. And I think you said it was two sulfur for every one coal. Just be safe and go with like 150. All right, 150 it is. Let's go back and make ourselves some dynamite. What about a heat? You want to play hot potato with me? Uh, no. Play hot potato with yourself, man. I ain't blowing up. No, 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 no. Yeah, it's, it's fun. Throw it back and forth. No, last person holding it is the last person holding it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because they went boom. I am bringing back plenty of leaves, just so you know. About 2,500, in case you guys need some. About that. I know you guys were stressing out about not having any plant matter and yeah. went out and did you guys a solid. <laughs> you did. All right, I gotta go get my wife. I'll be back in a little bit. Okay. Right, I'm, not gonna exit. I'm not gonna exit sure. the door. <laughs> <laughs> Some manual labor, yeah. If you had to actually like, dig it out, although probably easier in this game than it is in real life, considering that the nodes are just there, you don't have to like filter out the rock and build a whole elaborate system for it. I would hope by the time we get to another planet, we have a better method than harvesting biofuel. I realize solar isn't the answer to everything, but it's a pretty nice, you know, stopgap. As long as you actually have a sun, and we kind of need one to survive, so hopefully we have one. And they do have geysers in this game that you used to be able to. I don't know if it's still in the game now, but you used to be able to put down reactors on top of those and get a little bit of energy going. All right, so we are going to make black powder. OK, we got screws being made up here now, too. Got rods being made, We've got concrete being made.
Oh, dude. Okay, so for explosives, I need a hundred more of those things, which I think I got enough when I went out there to do. Um, not gonna be able to do that one just yet. Not gonna be able to do that one just yet. So, we do have the ability to make a rifle, but you need some pretty advanced things to do it. We can make rifles? Uh, technically, if we have the, uh, the resources to unlock it, we could. But you're going to need, I think it's computer chips, you're also going to need reinforced frames, which you're not even making the regular frames yet, let alone the reinforced ones. Yeah. Um, yeah, circuit boards, and then the steel pipes, which they, they don't take that long to get to, so we'll have weapons really quick. Yeah, we're not far off, actually, really. Computer chips might take a little bit, but... The circuit boards, yeah. Then once we uh, do two of these... What is this, rubber? Oh, dude, we gotta get rubber going. That's uh, that's oil. So we're really far away from having any of that. So that was a long run for not a whole lot of gain. Case industrial beams and cable. You know what? That's that's doable. Detonator. That's gonna be something right around the corner. So yeah, let's go ahead and finish making that dynamite, or the explosives, black powder, whatever it is. And see if we have enough. All of these reinforced iron plates, we need 50 of them. I think I got enough sulfur. Nope, not enough sulfur. Dang it. Well, I, I'm not going back over there for a little bit. That's. Get your piggly ass over there. <laughs> yeah, I don't think so. Alright, well, we can make yellow power slugs at least. And green ones. Can't do the purple ones yet. How's our uh, power situation going so far? Uh, not too bad. Yo, 15 advanced power nodes. Let's see. Gonna put a little bit down here. So you guys have these uh, platforms built, but nothing put on top, huh? No, not yet.
I think we should put like our advanced constructors up there, the ones that take the two lines into one. I think that'd be a good spot for those right now. So we just have like the bare basic resources going. Yeah. Because to be able to manually or have automatic the reinforced iron plates would be great. So if you put a power shard in the constructors, does that speed them up? Mm-hmm. Yeah, but the thing you gotta be careful with that is, um, one, it's gonna use more power, but you know, it's not really that big of an issue. The main thing is it's gonna be using the resources that it needs faster. And so it's kind of one of those give and take things where do you put the power shards in like the smelter and then the iron plate maker and then into those things or you know well some of them they're they're already keeping up as it is like if they're steady a hundred inside the uh, constructor of that resource to make the item it's just taking longer to make the item yeah it may seem like that but once you put one inside of it, it definitely changes the way it works but I'll, I'll bring some back over there. i think i have them on me right now Things being so obvious. Probably because it's desert, so it's easier to spot them. Yeah, I mean, I can actually see like streaks of light flying into them, like little tiny meteorites. I don't remember that being a characteristic of.
Yeah, so power wise, maximum is 100, and we're only at 47. So we're not, we're about halfway of hitting it. With just the little bit that we have going on. Well, I think I do have uh, two power nodes in one of the power generators. Yeah, I think we do. I'm pretty sure you did. Yeah, all the way up to three on the one generator. The maximum wattage on that one is uh, milliwatts is 75. Yeah, you Normally can... that's like 25, I think. You can take those out if you need. Nah, I, th I think we're fine. Yeah, see, I got uh, three power nodes <clears throat> in the uh, in the limestone generator or limestone miner, and I got one power node in the concrete mixer, and it's just barely keeping up with how fast it's producing. So this uh, this poor node quality. Yeah, I think this melt is just really horrible. smelter that can't keep up which is it's whatever the smelter on what on the iron up here that's doing the rods and the screws oh I'll come up there in a second I mean ideally I'd much rather have another um, smelter and then split it that way and have a smelter for the ones doing all the way from the rod to the screw um, and then have one specifically for the rods, but it's fine. We'll, we'll hammer that out. I'm just trying to get this, uh, logics two done. So one of the ways that I advanced my stuff yesterday so quickly is I literally just went left my game on and just made sure I had like biofuel logs in the generators <laughs> right. and went AFK for a while until my containers were pretty much, I did, my containers didn't get full but they got enough for me to work with. One way to do it. It is one way. I've, I've tried doing a little bit of that, but <clears throat> the power is so fickle when it comes oh, you, to. You the, overload the hell out of your shit. Well, no, I mean, even on the basis where I, I make sure that I have more power than what I, I think I need, the the water, again, I'm just, I for whatever reason, cannot get that water to work the way I want it to work. Yeah. It sucks, dude. It sucks. It just. Wish it was a little easier. I have seen other designs that people have used, especially the one that uh, Crucio was talking about before, where they built the the power coal mines or whatever power or coal generators right over the the water itself, so it goes straight up, kind of like we were doing on the last map. And that does work, but it just seems so. I don't know, it just like the whole purpose is in this game to me is the ability to pipe things from one place to another, kind of building whatever design you're looking for. If you have to build it right on top, 
Uh, I think you're not quite grasping the full effect of what this game has to offer. I mean, yeah. Obviously, there's a mechanic there that you could be taking probably a more efficient route in doing. Milestone reached. Improved versions of conveyor belts and conveyor lifts are now accessible. To encourage additional verticality, conveyor poles now have a stackable variant. Jeez, how much further do we need to go to get the... I guess we gotta be tier 3 to do the other. The other what? To make the, um... The coal generators. Uh, might be in the tier three, or it might actually be in the starport. Uh, dang, I can't get him out of this corner. I wonder if he, did you take damage if you get shocked by another player with the proddy stack? Yeah, they can kill you with it because. Uh... Oh, I guess I should stop hitting curse with him. He come back dead. He did that to some of us when we were, uh, you know, logged out of the game or something, and he wanted to do something with the the spot that we were standing. That's too funny. All right, I want to get a couple more biomass generators done. I'm much rather have a couple more of those ready to go. guys see the creators of Westworld are creating a Fallout series for Amazon Prime? Uh, TV series? Yep. That could be cool, actually, if they do it right. Never enough concrete. Yeah. That feels like my AC stopped working again. No. <laughs> Just in time for summer, man. Right around the corner. Yeah. Sexy uh, Houston weather, baby. You like sweaty armpits and... Uh, See, now, you guys have talked in the past about different types of snow, right? You got, like, the light snow, you got, like, an icy snow compact, yeah. right? I kind of feel like there's several different forms of humidity, right? Am I wrong, or...? Um, well, I mean, there's varying degrees of humidity. Well, like, there's, there's some humidity where it's kind of hard to breathe. It's hot, right? And it just feels like it's uh, hampering your, your breathing. The well, other... Here's what I find is like humidity amplifies whatever the fucking weather condition causes already. So like if it's hot out, it feels way worse than it is. And if it's cold out, it feels way fucking worse than it is. Well, I mean, just the other day, though, like I, I've i gone through this before in the past, but everything felt a little sticky. Like it's humidity and everything just seems sticky. I don't know if I'm the only one. Maybe it's just my car needs to be cleaned, but I feel like everything I touched was just, yeah, sticky. <laughs> Nobody's sticky. agreeing or saying anything, so I think I'm the only one. What are you working on, Heat? Well, I just dropped two, three more power generators down. Took out two of those um, 
power modules out of the one generator because we have enough power now to do them. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna increase some capabilities on our metal front. Looks like we're making concrete a lot faster thanks to those, uh, those power nodes. Yeah. So even when you put one of these power nodes overclocks into the smelter, it's still only 30 per minute. You gotta make sure you move that bar underneath the power node. Oh. Yeah, I made right, that mistake the first time. Per minute. Can't afford it. Missing cable. Ah, uh, do I get my cable? We can use a few more of those power modules. Let me see what our power's at, though. Oh, you can always use more. I mean, it's if you can fill everything up with three each, which is definitely possible. We've played some of the games with Mishiriki and Cipher, uh, and as you start to explore more and get the jump packs and all the other stuff, uh, you start running into, like I said, the purple ones, which give you three each. You come back from a run with like 27, 30 of them. Making twenty two and a half per minute. How's it or a half involved? Yeah, it rounds uh, down probably. I can almost go a little bit more with the uh, the smelter for the iron over here. We'll see. We'll let that run for a little bit. Alright, because our maximum power usage is about 80... Anywhere between 75 and 80. can do up to 160 with all the generators I have up and running. Yeah, but that's with feeding them, right? Uh, what do you mean feeding them? Well, I'm just saying it's the biofuel generators. Yeah. problem is we need them to get those sheets of metal and the concrete and all that. Ugh. <laughs> Got through so much concrete. Ain't right. You can't put down conveyor belts without concrete. Can't put down shit in this game without concrete. Well, 
We need another limestone mine. There's one over here, across the water. Yeah. Bring me 10 sheets, we can probably get this one hooked up and running. Drop these uh, on the ground early with these, these sheets. Never gonna be able to pick those things back up. I mean, it's a long haul for them, but. No, I mean, I dropped it right on top of where mine was. Uh oh. And now, when you try to pick them up, it's like, you wanna click on the mine? I think 120 cement would go a lot further than it does. Depends on what you're doing with that cement, too. Yeah, I mean, it does, kind of, but... Rain for over there or power rain. Question is, AC. I guess we'll have it conveyor all the way over across the water into a crate. Uh, yeah, you could do that. Because otherwise, somebody has to go all the way across the water just to get it every time. That's gonna be annoying. Is that what we're short on right now, is rods? We're short on a lot of stuff. Uh, no, I just need to go grab some. I ran out of my inventory. You're an in inventory. Oh. No, it, baby. Okay, Chris, you're back. Come on. Cut this tree. What? 
Country. Where are we at? You're over this way. get your explosives made <clears throat> sort of we need uh, a few more things that uh, we actually have access to but we just haven't made them yet so do have the ability to make the uh, tier 2 conveyors now, apparently. Nice. I mean, they're not being made automatically, but... So what are you going to build up there on that top tree, or, uh, first day? Um, I thought we would just start putting, like, the smelters, and then, like, every, like, how you had it on our last game. Mm hmm I thought we would just do the same thing, and then we could break all this stuff down and just run Cavalier, the belt, up to that platform. That sounds good. Yeah. Which, um, yeah. which smelters are you going to put over there? I was just saying we could just do all of them and just run copper and ore and iron over there. We can even run the limestone up there to start making the concrete up there, too. You know, just put it all in one area. I'm gonna make some reinforced iron plates. Did you pick up all those personal miners over there? Yeah, I did. I got a whole bunch of uh, concrete on me, or limestone on me, actually. Alright. Third in the... chest, I guess, and I'll break it down. See, this is why I wish we had, like, a tool where you can remove rocks. Yeah, no, uh... No landscaping tools. I mean, it kind of feels like... Minecraft would uh, would kind of encroach encroach upon that if they did a little bit too much of that. Eh. 
Maybe. I mean, it's not like it's copyrighted or anything. I'm just saying, like, there's plenty of games out there that, that already do that. Maybe they're trying for something different. Yeah. What are you doing, Shariki? Stack of pools. Tell you, the stack of pools have to be my favorite. <laughs> we just need 400 concrete and then we can do this uh, next milestone. Yeah, this map's definitely taking a little bit longer to get stuff going. Yeah, but not by I mean, much. We got a lot of the resources at the start, it's just we needed it for so many things at once. We've also got a head start because EC did all that research stuff already. <laughs> did I get you too or no? Yeah, we both got you. <laughs> I feel so hot playing this right now. Because <laughs> of the desert? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I live in the desert, so it just makes me think how hot it could be. Oh, this would be, like, you'd be baking in this kind of desert, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Oops. Well, at least you have plenty of sand everywhere. That's, that's always fun to have, right? Um, yeah. Get to this this is know. actual, like, a sand desert. I mean, where I live, I don't have... You have to drive pretty far away to get to that area of the desert. To get to sand. What do you got? Like gravel? Mm, yeah, it's like dry dirt with like desert vegetation around. I imagine sand would be hotter on your feet. Probably. Than dirt. I mean, it's like going to the beach almost sometimes, you know? fuel stuff soon uh, you check one of those crates I know I dropped off uh, well you know leaves aren't fantastic but there's like 2500 in there just turn them into biomass they burn longer yeah that's what I did I turned them into biomass but 
One's below 100 right now. I oh, we still had a little bit left in there, but you guys are going to want to get more. Because I'm done work now, so now I got to head off. Yeah, right, man. Right. But overall, I think we're in a pretty hunky dory spot. Yeah, I'll take care of the biofuel. Oh, you just... Yeah, yeah, you just reloaded them all. Okay. Yeah, just... There's enough for me to reload them all, but you're gonna get low quick. Alright, fellas. Catch you later. Alright, uh, later, man. Later. And on that note, guys, I think I might take a uh, short break as well. Grab something to eat, something to drink. Uh, with the emotional and, uh, <laughs> I was going to say, like, cerebral uh, heat and the fact that my AC actually isn't working and it is burning hot in here. I definitely need something to drink, so we will uh, be back maybe in about 30, 40 minutes, hopefully, if we're lucky. And we will have a little bit more built for you guys beginning part of this game is pretty slow when you're getting things going especially if you already kind of know what you want to do and you're trying to plan it out uh, it takes a little bit longer it saves you more time in the long run of having to tear everything down and redo it all over again but yeah it's uh, one thing we also need to worry about in Curcio is you're building towards the water and I think you're probably gonna want to keep all that water area for oh, your, your power yeah, I'm stopping right here. I'm not going okay. any farther. And yeah. that's going to stop right there, too. Yeah, so we'll just change directions, go that way. But I think the uh, the dunes are a little higher than this bottom spot, so whatever goes down here on this bottom layer... I think we're going to put all the coal uh, power plants down here. I don't think they're going to fit. That's not very... Uh... Mm, I think they'll fit if you put them on the edge right yeah here. yeah this one little edge right here but I'm just saying like if you move that whole layer that you already built up there up more you could fit all those things down here but I think it has to be like seven up or ten up so yeah I was trying to I wish we had it unlocked to see how tall they were that's why I was building the uh, the smelters a little further away from where you guys are at right now. But we'll definitely see here in a little bit. But yeah, guys, uh, definitely want to thank you for guys for watching. Remember D and D tomorrow night. If you guys want to come and join us, more than welcome to. Uh, this is a reoccurring uh, game that we've been playing for the last like month and a half, and it's just getting to the interesting part. I think you guys are gonna want to see what's going on. Got some uh, some twists and turns for these fellas to go through.